Hey, what's up, everybody? Stevie Breach coming to you. Uh, just just got done watching uh, WrestleMania on Blu-ray. Um, great, great show. I, I thoroughly enjoy it. I, I will be putting up a, a, a WrestleMania review uh, tomorrow. I will be um, doing that after I watch Triple H and Taker one more time. I just want that to uh, sink in. That was a real, real, you know, just a great match from uh, two of the uh, best competitors in wrestling. And uh, I don't think... Uh, it can get better than that, and I mean, I just, I just loved every second of it. I can't wait to watch it again in the morning. But uh, basically, I just wanted to break down this news that I got uh, today from uh, just basically TNA. I don't, I don't talk a lot about uh, TNA on my channel. It's, it's a company that I really like. I want to to succeed. I just don't think they're making the right decisions right now. It's, it's so easy to bash them that I don't like to. But it seems like I jump on this TNA, you know, bashing uh, so much that it's just. I don't know. I I feel bad for him, but but I honestly, uh, you know, before the people think that I'm just jumping on, you know, and just throwing more weight onto the sinking ship of TNA, I I really want this company to succeed. But honestly, when you're making a uh, um you know statements like Ric Flair went on the radio show today with Mark Madden and he said that uh, he's going to be getting a title shot against against uh, Ric Flair that now he didn't say if it was going to be at a house show and he didn't say it was going to be at a pay per view, but. I'm guessing that he's not going to be going on a national radio show to announce that he's going to be doing a, a house show, um, you know, main event uh, against Sting for the title. I mean, there's a lot of story with Sting and Ric Flair, and honestly, if I went to a house show, um, like, like the show, and they, they come here to Sacramento in October, and I got a, a main event of Sting versus Flair, uh, you know, it is a house show. I, I don't know if I would feel cheated. I, I, I think I would honestly really like to see that match. But I, I don't think people want to pay for that match, the, the same thing. I, I don't think that that's a pay-per-view quality match that people want to see. I think that, um, you know, with, with Ric Flair, when he worked at the undercard and he worked with uh, Lethal, you know, that, that really worked. And maybe that's what TNA is looking at. Like, man, uh, when we had Flair in the ring earlier this year, it really worked for him. Uh, with Jay Lethal, but that was an undercard match that really nobody was looking forward to. Like, nobody was, nobody was expecting anything out of that. But I mean, if you put somebody like Ric Flair in the main event, you're thinking of Ric Flair from 20 years ago is going to show up, and you think that you know he's really going to go out and perform to the fullest. But I think if you do that, you're going to end up with a match that's more like uh, the end of the last uh, match of Nitro, the Sting versus. Um, uh, Ric Flair match the the match where Ric Flair you know was basically wrestling in a teacher because he you know just didn't feel that he was up to snuff uh, and to be out there uh, and you know Flair sort of fought this match he he didn't really want to do it uh, but the, the WWF people that were there Shane McMahon talked him into it saying that this was the the life of, of uh, WCW it's what people wanted to remember and you know this was the the best match that they can give people on the way out the door and. Um, uh, I honestly think that the match is bad. I think that it, it is being placed on the uh, the best of WCW Nitro um, DVD that is coming out, and I honestly don't think it should be there. I think that they're taking away from something else that could have been there, but it is the last match of Nitro, so I think it does deserve its place on there for some reason. It is much better than the um, Booker T versus Scott Steiner championship match that led off Nitro that night, but it's not as good as the uh, the Cruiserweight tag uh uh, matches or the Shane Helm match that ended that night. The, there are other ones that, that were better if you do have that, that episode of Nitro on DVD or you can find it on YouTube and check out those matches. Those matches are better. But then to top it off, I guess Hulk Hogan didn't want to be topped out uh, in the news today by Ric Flair uh, talking about his title shot. So as of right now, TNA is leaning towards a TNA main event at Bound for Glory of Hulk Hogan against Sting. I guess, you know, Hulk Hogan hasn't got the memo that is not 1997 anymore uh, for both of these guys. Uh, you know, Sting is a guy that right now is is, is the uh, TNA champion. I don't think it is the best bet um, uh, for a person like, like Sting to be the champion. I wish the belt was on somebody like AJ Styles. I think then, then more people would be able to get behind this company's, you know, it, it's, uh, you know, just the youth movement. I, I mean, it's hard to call AJ Styles really, a, you know, a youth guy. Um, right now, but I mean, when you're you're talking about Hogan and Sting and Flair in the main event, like you got to clamor towards a guy like AJ. AJ's been the life and blood of uh, TNA since day one, uh, but it seems like since uh, you know Hogan and Bischoff showed up, they slapped this guy back to the, uh, uh, the the lower part of the card, like that's where he belongs. And every single fan of TNA that's out there that wants you know this company to succeed is begging for AJ Styles. Why would Hulk Hogan go out? 
and and I know he wants to give himself one last match on the card, um, but I mean like even even Vince figured out you know that like Hogan you know isn't uh, you know that main event guy anymore that that even you know um, him going up in, in, into a big time feud against uh, Shawn Michaels which did deliver. Um, you know, the people wanted to see that, but I think people really wanted to see it more for Michaels more than more than for Hogan. It just um, the the pay per view, you know, did well, and, and and the next year they tried it again with Orton, and it, it didn't do as well as as the first time. But Hogan, you know, even that was years ago. Nobody really wants to see you in the ring when you put out Hogan knows best. You sort of you know showed off. You know, you, you didn't put your best front forward. It it, it was you know. You, you showed um, you, you're breaking down old man, and then the last documentary that came out as well, you know, it, it made you look even worse than when you were on Hogan Knows Best. Everybody knows that you're, you know, a broken down old man who, you know, who doesn't deserve to be getting in that ring one more time. The match you had uh, at the first TNA that you said it was the, go, going to deliver an eight point, um, you know, ratings buster, you know, to blow the uh, Monday Night Wars open again and, and finally uh, beat Vince one more time was horrible. It was you and Flair, Abyss, and uh, whoever the hell was uh, Flair's partner. I mean, that's how forgetful that, that match was. It was the last time Hogan was in the ring. I honestly can't even remember who all was in that tag match. But, you know, TNA, you got to start looking in other directions. You know, your, your younger guys are bailing out because they know that there's not going to be uh, a future for him. That was the same thing that was happening in WCW uh, before the end, like when, when guys like uh, Benoit and Malenko and Perry Saturn were jumping ship, Eddie Guerrero, um, because th th they knew that they've been in that company. They're bust busting their butt on the bottom of the cards. Uh, they were they were over. Uh, you know, everybody in the wrestling uh, world loved these guys and wanted more of them, and WCW wasn't going to give them any spots because the old guys in the 40-year-old club had to get over. So, um, TNA, you guys are looking in a different direction. The youth movement is what people want. And for some reason, you're trying to give us, you know, the Senior Citizen Club.